I bet you did not know that you could actually create an invoice with your smartphone. Hi, my name is Ikem Jika and I'm the founder of Jonas Digital. Welcome to my space. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the apps that I used in 2022 to generate well detailed invoices for my clients. So, see you in the other side. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. I'm going to be showing you two apps that I use for my invoices. One is called Invoice Manager and the second one is called Keeper. Now, these two apps perform the same thing. I only use them individually for my different businesses. One is for General Digital, while the other one is for Ring Light and Lapel Mic. Okay? So now I'm going to be showing this invoice manager from scratch, how to set up your invoice. Just use what you learned from this to apply to any other invoice you come across, okay? So of course, with your smartphone. I'm going to just come here and click on open to get started and um, allow and wait for it to launch for a bit and you come here. If you have a logo, you add your logo. If you add signature, you, you add your signature, sorry. If you have a signature, you add your signature, you put a manual signature. So I'm just going to put a manual signature here. This is for general details. Then your personal name in Kem, Jika, and your boy. Then you put in your address and that, like that, like that. Then you click on next. Then you select your country to be able to use your own currency. If you leave it in US, you're going to be using US currency, okay? So I'm just going to select Nigeria here to use the Naira. Then select financial year range. I'm going to leave it as here. Currency format, da, da, da. So you can now select the kind of number format you want. I want this normal one, so I'm going to leave it at that. The normal one we use. Then your date formats. How do you want it? Date first or month first? I think I want this first. The invoice prefix. I can just leave it as that. If you have your tax ID, put it there. In the one below. All right. So now that we've the app has started just come to this plus icon here click on invoice then you come into single page approach sorry step by step approach so that you will not get confused i will click on always use this and click on done add new clients organization name i could put um this is for the clients let's say i'm going to use let me just use my name Put in the email of that person of your client then you put in the address and contact number of the person then click on add clients okay now you're going to click on create new products this put in a product name ring lights if you have any product cage put measurement unit 18 inches description ring lights quantity let's say two sale rates twenty nine thousand then if you have any tax rate and all of that you put it so here i'm going to put twenty nine thousand then let's say two I'm sorry, I didn't. It's not complete. 29,000. Okay, yes. Minimum alert level. All this way you go. Okay, so I'm going to click on next now. And you can see this is the total. Okay. So, discounts. You can see here beneath here. They're giving you a discount. Like, how much discounts are you giving that person? Let me say 500 naira. Hmm? Remember, it was 58.5 before. If you now see, you can see that grand total is at 57,500 naira. Then click on create invoice here.
then this is a preview of what your invoice looks like you can see this is a preview this is a preview which for me it works for me so I'm going to click on save or or you're going to click on share you can share as PDF or an image so let me see I want to share as an image now probably I want to share on WhatsApp so I could just share on WhatsApp okay like so you can also check for other click on share here you could decide to share as PDF okay you can now share as a mail I'd say you want to be pro 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 <laughs> you could just come here to put in the email address of that person put in your subject invoice then you put in a note not this of course you could like kindly find invoice kindly find attached invoice don't make it too serious like this so you know now just do your thing but i'm just showing you an example then click on this and it sends to the person and that's that about this so all of this yeah when when the person pays you're going to put in an invoice of those that have paid and those that have not paid this is just a more advanced stuff okay i'm just showing you how to create an invoice which i have done so thank you and see you in the other episode of our tutorials let me know if this helps you and let me know if you would like me to create more tutorials on any other thing just let me know in the comment section thank you bye bye